Hey, what's going on, Capricorn? How are you? Welcome or welcome back to the House of Luminance. My name is Antoine. Today, we're going to look at the love energies that are surrounding you. All right. This is a timeless message. Hopefully, it's going to give you some insight into a past, present or possible future love situation. Um, you guys, if this message resonates to you, please don't be afraid to let me know down below. And if it doesn't, then I understand that you got to go. OK, it's no hard feelings at all. Let's get into the messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or maybe you are uh, here and you are um, connecting to a Capricorn and you just want to see what that energy is looking like. Well, this might be your message as well. Let's get one more good shuffle for Capricorn. All right. All right, Capricorn, we have sweet honey. Well, hey. <laughs> All right, sweet honey. Okay, and then under the deck, we have magic moment. All right, so sweet honey, and then magic moment is coming out here under the deck. Well, Capricorn, let me tell you. Automatically, I definitely feel as though you are... Um, you're connecting with an individual in this moment here, or you possibly could be connecting to an individual very soon who it just feels like things are like magic, right? It just feels like things flow really, really well, okay? Um, it feels like, okay, let me tell you what, it feels like time is slowed down, okay? When it comes to you and this person here, especially with like this sweet honey card, it feels like time is slowed down. Have you ever have you ever tried to like pour honey? Right? It takes a it takes a minute just because of the viscosity levels. But aside from that, <laughs> um, it just feels as though things have a moment to actually happen when it comes to this person. Okay? Um, it almost feels like it takes your breath away, or at least that's how you feel when you're around this person. You, you may have uh, made some memories together or you may have had some moments together that just kind of felt very, very magical. I feel like there's just a natural flow when it comes to you. Um, I feel like they're, I feel like this person kind of lights you up a little bit, okay? Um, they kind of illuminate your heart space a little bit. Um, okay, something Spirit is telling me that this person is... Uh, a smooth talker okay not that there are you know not some, sometimes you got to watch those smooth talkers I tell you but I don't feel like that with this I feel like this person they're a smooth talker but they like but they can also back up what they say okay um, they also mean what they say all right um, let's go ahead and continue to clarify this energy because I don't want to I don't want to over talk on this like the energy feels it feels beautiful right now so let's keep going. All right, Capricorn. This one wanted to come out, so we'll take it. All right. So we have the four of uh, pinnacles in reverse. All right. The four of pinnacles in reverse. We've got the knight of cups. Listen, this four of pinnacles in reverse is letting me feel like, uh, <laughs> okay. Going back to how honey, right? How honey kind of feels like it's slowed down. Like when you're trying to pour it out in spite of that, I feel like you're very open and you're very receptive to this energy that this person brings out of you, right? So this sweet, loving, charismatic energy that this person carries, I definitely feel like you are not, not that resistant to it. <laughs> maybe, maybe you have been in the past. Okay. Maybe you have been a little bit closed and reserved in the past, but when it comes to this person, I think that you're a little bit more open and a little bit more trusting. Um, and I think this person probably leads with their heart on their sleeve as well, Capricorn. Um, and that may be something that you're not necessarily used to a lot. 
But this person definitely leads with their heart on their sleeve, it feels like. We have the Justice card. So this does feel like you could be dealing with a Libra um, or any other possible air sign. But this is uh, the sign of Libra. The Justice card, this feels, it, it just feels right. It, it feels like this is what was supposed to have happened for you. This connection feels like it's the right thing. It feels like, um, for some of you, for some of you, it could feel like a correction of maybe a past mistake that you made in love. And it's just like, you, maybe you didn't want to be so trusting and maybe you didn't want to be so open, but the energy um, that this person possesses, like it allows you to be able to, to be that way. And this justice card, what I'm looking at, I'm, I'm paying attention to the sword here um, because that sword is going to cut out anything that, that, that isn't for you. Okay. And I feel like you are using your mind. You are using your better judgment here when it comes to this Capricorn. So I don't think that you're overthinking anything at all. Or I don't think that you're only focusing on how this person makes you feel. I do feel like you are being, uh, I feel like you are being very mental about this and fair to yourself about this. Um, and with that being said, it's, it's great that you're allowing this to happen. Okay. Ooh, look at that ten of cups. Now that's a beautiful card right here. We're talking about magic happening. Okay, so complete ultimate fulfillment. Okay, um, that pure happiness. Okay, that shared happiness. All right. Um, so I do see that here with this connection for sure. Um, okay, so we have this knight. That's that is offering you a cup to now this 10 of cups situation. So Capricorn, I think that just as you allow yourself to just open up and be a little bit more trusting and, and a little bit more free, um, that this does have the makings of something beautiful. Um, I do sense that again, like I said, you are you are still trying to use your, your, your head in this situation, okay? You are trying to use your better judgment. You are trying to make sure that um, what you're going to enter in with this person is going to be fair and it's going to be fair to you and it's going to be fair to them. Okay. Um, okay. Spirit is also telling me here with this four of pentacles that, uh, the reason why it's, it's so easy for you to be a little bit more open when it comes to this person is because they are that with you. Like they are, they are open and free with you. Maybe they're very generous. Maybe they've been investing in something that you care about, um, even if it's just their time, okay? Uh, they're giving that to you, Capricorn, and, and you're accepting it, all right? Under the deck, we have the strength card, okay? Not just physically speaking, this person that you're dealing with could be strong, okay? They could be strong-willed, um, but Capricorn, I also feel like this because this is you in a way, um, it feels like there's been a lot that you've had to overcome. And with the strength energy here, I think that many of you naturally, maybe you naturally want to kind of close yourself off and protect yourself. Um, but this may be a time where you actually go ahead and kind of let that, that animal out of you a little bit. And I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying you have to go crazy, but you know, it, it just feels like with this connection, you're a little bit less tame um, and you're a little bit less, uh, you know, boxed up, you know, like you're a little you're a little less stuffy. Right. And you're just a little bit more lax and a little bit more free and um, a little more animalistic. OK, so. All right. Whatever that means, Capricorn. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and continue to clarify your energy. All right, let's get one more good shuffle for Capricorn. Ooh, six of cups. Now, this possibly could be somebody from your past. You know what? The thing, let me tell you about this, what I feel. I feel like it's somebody that maybe you weren't too involved with in the past. Maybe you know this person a little bit. But it feels like you, um, it 
feels like this may be somebody that you overlooked in the past. And, and now they're having a, a moment of, of, of coming back around and you're, and you're seeing them now for whatever reason, okay, that you didn't before. That's what that feels like for sure. Feels like this person is somebody maybe that you, maybe you know this person from the hood, you know, you know this person from back in the day and maybe I went to elementary school or whatever with one another. Or just maybe I went to high school together, you know, all these years have passed and now you've kind of circled back around to one another. It feels familiar with this individual, but it still feels new. Um, I don't feel like this is an ex or anything like that, um, but, it, but it does feel like you guys know each other energetically or maybe you just kind of know each other just from around, okay? The 10 of, yeah, and so what happened before in the past was that it just didn't get off the ground. It just probably wasn't the right time. But like I said, with that justice card, now is the right time. I've, I said that earlier, but that 10 of swords makes me feel like, you know, in the past, it just wasn't the right time for the momentum to, to happen, okay? It wasn't the right time for the magic to happen. Um, but, that, but that person still had Capricorn on their mind. That person still was like, you know what, I'm gonna see Capricorn again. And when I do, I'm, I'm gonna be ready. I'm gonna be right, okay? Yep, and the time is right. Look at there, look at that opportunity that Spirit has for you right now. This is telling me right now, Capricorn, that it, the time is now, strike hot. If you want it, get it, okay? If it's the other way around and, and you're pursuing this person, it's, it's, the time is now, okay? Seize the moment is what I'm hearing with this because it's only going to just lead to your happiness here. Okay, forget about the things that didn't work out in the past. All right, it's in the past now and all of that stuff is over. Okay, and you've learned and you've grown from those experiences and now spirit is like, hey, I got something for you. Okay. Mm. I feel a lot of physical attraction as well, not just um, not just, you know, uh, uh, like not just spiritual chemistry, but I feel a lot of physical chemistry with each other as well. OK. Um, I will also go even further to say that Capricorn, this person, <laughs> this person may surprise you in the boudoir. OK. Um, and whatever that means. All right. So let's keep going. Two of wands. Yes. Go from the ace of wands now to the two of wands. So, and then we got that 10 of cups. So, you know what, this person, um, <laughs> this person, uh, makes you want to, this person makes you want to get up They makes you want to get out of the house. This person makes you want to see more of the world. This person makes you want to expand. It makes you want to be open. Okay. Um, if you're the type of, if you're, if you're the type of person who just, maybe you're reclusive and you just kind of sit up in the house and, you know, you think about the things that you want to do in the world. Well, this person finally feels like somebody that you can actually share those things with. Okay. Um, also what I will say is as well, because this person is holding a wand as well. And so I'm looking at this Ace of Wands. This energy feels like this person that you're connecting with, uh, they, it, it feels like their energy, it multiplies, right? It multiplies things in your life or it, you know, it makes, uh, it makes more things plentiful, okay? Um, I don't know. It feels like just, it, I don't know. Just spirit is telling me that even your options in, like just what you want to do with yourself in the world or how you want to be in the world. Just your options are just opening up when it comes to this person. Okay, under the deck, we do have the five of swords. So yeah, listen, let me tell you about this. It feels like in the past, it feels like in the past and maybe not necessarily with this person, but it feels like there's always been just a little bit of resistance or maybe some disagreements or maybe just, you know, you weren't seeing eye to eye with someone, okay? Maybe you were trying to be um, a little bit more uh, sweet, loving, and caring, and that person just, maybe they took it as you um, 
I don't know, trying to manipulate them or anything like that. Uh, but I don't know. It just feels like what it just feels like in the past, you couldn't see eye to eye with someone for whatever reason. Or you, maybe you didn't see eye to eye with this with this particular person in the past. But it doesn't feel that deep. It doesn't feel that serious. It doesn't feel like it was anything like to make or create beef over. But um, it does just feel like that was in the past. Yeah, the Ten of Cups energy for sure. We got the Ten of, I'm not Ten of Cups. We have the Ten of Pentacles energy with the Ten of Cups. So I definitely do feel like this person is a very important person in your life. Um, this person is somebody that you definitely can build with. Um, listen, I'm looking at this Ten of swords in this five of swords energy okay i think you may have uh <laughs> you may have like kind of talked to this person in the past and just maybe thought okay that person's not for me so like you cut them off and you ended it and you deaded it or that person did that to you but you know it's a small world and so maybe all these years later 10 years later five years later uh i'm, I'm gonna say 10 because i'm seeing three tens here um, this person has come back around. Okay. 10 is the number of a completed cycle. So maybe this person is coming back around to you. Okay. The higher fan. Yeah. There's a lot of things still that you need to learn. This individual is here to help you learn those things and you can teach these things to this person. I also feel like this relationship and this connection defies tradition. Okay. There are maybe a lot of things that are traditional about the situation, but it does feel like things defy tradition. Okay. Um, I also feel like, uh, I also feel like the both of you have gone through like counseling or therapy to get you to the maturity levels where you are now to where this situation will actually work out better. OK, than it could have in the past. Now, in the past, it doesn't feel like y'all y'all were too serious. In fact, it feels like things were cut off before it got too serious um, or maybe for outside reasons not to do with either of you. You know, y'all just weren't able to link up and see eye to eye. OK, it could have been to where maybe somebody else stopped that from happening. OK, but Spirit said, ah, all right, that justice card is coming back out. So it's here to make it right. This person is coming back to you. They're coming back to complete a cycle with you. Or maybe they're coming back around to start a cycle with you that never got to get off the ground. OK, this is a beautiful message, Capricorn. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it here because I feel like I'm <laughs> saying the same stuff. So let me know what's working out in the comment box below. I do appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for your time. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you all in the next message. Bye.